Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, um, I just dawned on me. Uh, Ted talk, their main color or asset is red, and I'm wearing blue. It's not a great choice, <laughs> but regardless, we'll carry on. As you can see, my topic, or TED Talk, I should say, is about being positive. It's a great feeling and experience. People should be happy. They deserve, especially with all the effort and hard work they put in. Now, I think it's important to establish, though, what positivity and mindset is. After all, sometimes the words are interchangeable. We just swap them out. But the way I see it, mindset is the way we perceive things. It's a state of mind. Whereas positivity is about being optimistic. It's about persevering even when everything can be a bit discouraging. That's really what it is at its core. And for those of you who are thinking this is like some massive talk on Einstein's theory of relativity, it is not. So you can just chuck that out the window. Although there is a little bit of statistics here, but simple, really. So on my right, you'll see a blue Pac-Man that is eating three-fourths of the world. This is just a representation of the population of children relative to the total population. For a total population of eight billion people, there's two billion children. That's a staggering statistic when you think about it. That's one-fourth of our total population. But it doesn't surprise me. I'm like, there's, I'm surrounded by students every time I go to school. It's really no surprise when I think about it. But that also brings another question that I sort of pondered as I went about doing this TED Talk. And it's that, well, if there's two billion children, how often do they smile every day? It's surprisingly 400 times. It's more than I'd expect, but also understandable especially when you consider that smiling is the most simplest form of expression. It shows and conveys that we're positive, that we're happy. And it's something that comes naturally. When I smile, it's not because I'm being forced to, it's because I genuinely feel happy. Uh, the same can't always be said for adults. It's 20 times a day, so a little bit less, but still, it's getting there. And anyways, the reason why I bring all this up is because if you multiply 400 by a population of two billion, that's eight billion smiles in a single day. I'm mean, like, Elon Musk only makes $650 million in a single day. If you compare that, it's, it's a day and night difference. If, if his salary were like right here where my left hand is, the number of smiles would probably be through the roof. But obviously the reason why I bring this up is to bring my message. I think it shows that there's some things that money can't buy. When you think about the value of happiness, it's an intrinsically human emotion that we can't always earn through money. It's something that's only experienced because we're human. I'm gonna switch the slides. Um, as you can see, there's a cute dog. It's very adorable, but that's not obviously my main point. It's why I chose this topic. As you can see, it's very happy, it's very positive, the dog. But that's not always how we humans always feel. It's not as though we're on cloud nine every day. It's not as though we're smiling. And there are admittedly some really bad days and sometimes they get us down. But I don't think that's how we should always perceive the world. If we have a fantastic day, yet five minutes of it is spent rolling in despair because we've had a horrible or embarrassing moment, we shouldn't idle on that. We should be able to be ourselves without being held back by these negative emotions. It's knowing that we can experience multiple emotions ranging from anger, sadness, to happiness, that we're human. If you think about it, positivity and negativity, they're just two sides of the same coin. It's just a matter of how we choose to embrace them. Which brings me to my next slide with another dog. As you can see, the question asks, why should we choose to be positive? There's a lot of questions you can be asking. Uh, normally, uh, when you're a 16-year-old, you don't think, why should we choose to be positive? But sometimes, you should ask yourself that. It's important to understand your own mental mindset. But I think that's where this question goes wrong. Instead of asking, why should we choose to be positive? It should be about why we choose to be negative. 
As I said, they're both essentially polar opposites, and yet the question has, it's a slight change in the phrasing, has such a different meaning. We can choose to be positive whenever we want, but we're only truly negative when something bad happens, when something discouraging in life occurs, and it's something that we can't always move past on. But that's why we're human. We have these emotions that we embrace because we have a choice to make, whether we choose to be angry or we choose to be sad. That is fundamentally something that we're born with. Which brings me to my final slide. Whenever you're feeling down or negative, there's always something that I tend to say to myself. And it's that if you ever look in the sky and you see millions upon billions of stars, you'll never realize that those stars, when they look down on Earth, see a single star smiling back at them. It's a matter of perspective and how you see yourself in the grand scope of this world. We're just one person in a sea of eight billion people, but sometimes when we take a step back, we need that time, that moment, to really reevaluate these things. If we spend every second thinking about pictures of cute dogs, well, we might not get that far, but if we think about life in context with a positive mindset, we're able to do so much more. Thank you. <laughs>